I'm Steve Burl. I'm the CEO of Burl & Company. We're a San Francisco-based life sciences merchant bank. We have a billion plus in our venture capital business and own about 100 companies around the world. We have a major merchant banking business where we do transactional work. We have a major media business where we do conferences, I write books, and we give speeches all over the world. So we're entirely in the life sciences business. I've been doing it for about 45 years. Um, and so we kind of know everybody and know a lot about what the life sciences business is all about. I'm here in Abu Dhabi today at this meeting in part because I'm one of the keynote speakers talking about healthcare innovation, where healthcare innovation is taking us. I'm also talking tomorrow on a program here about personalized medicine, the world of personalized predictive and preventative medicine. Now, what's really interesting about healthcare is that if you think about healthcare, by and large, we haven't changed very much in the last 500 or 1,000 years. That is to say, most of the healthcare systems around the world are episodic based. That is to say, we wait for a problem to occur. When a problem occurs, a person goes to a doctor or a nurse or to a hospital. We try and figure out what's wrong with that person. Then we try and treat them. So it's episodic based. And in fact, most things don't work and most people die. And if you think about healthcare on a continuing basis, we haven't changed very much over the last 50, 100, 200, 500,000 years. We wait for disease to occur, we try and do it, and most people die. What's interesting about healthcare is if you look at healthcare going forward to 2020, we're going to live in a very different world. So we're going to live in a world in which we increasingly use technology, we would spit on our Blackberry and we'd have a little microfluidics chip in our cell phone or in our smartphone or in our Blackberry. And that biological sample, whether that's urine or blood or saliva, uh, could diagnose what's wrong with you. And much like the GPS up to the magic computer in the sky, come down and tell you basically what's wrong with you. Now, if you think about the healthcare system today in most places of the world, you get sick, you go and you see a doctor, a doctor talks to you, he pokes around in your body, and you pee in a bottle or you spit into a tube, and they send that tube over to some lab someplace, they do something, they provide the information back to the doctor, and based on that, the doctor begins to intervene. We can do virtually all of that electronically today. So we have the technology and the microfluidics chips, we have certainly the telecommunication technology. We have smart systems around the world today. And so we're going to see a transformation of medicine from a world of kind of one size fits all, wait for disease to occur, and then throw everything at it, knowing most things don't work, to a world of essentially preemption, to a world that can be very predictive about what I'm going to get as diseases can therefore be preemptive. Right now, we're in a world of personalization where we treat patient A and patient B differently based on the nuances of what that individual have. We're going to be able to move that to the world of prediction, to be able to predict that you're going to get Alzheimer's or I'm going to get osteoporosis, and then ultimately to the world of preemption, where we're ahead of disease and we're treating a well population effectively rather than a sick population dysfunctionally.